Where are we going? Where are we going to? Um, uh, Gooverjin Lake. <laughs> I gave you time. I'm um, going to Gooverjin Lake, which is only about 15 nautical miles. And there's about 14 knots of wind, so we're just enjoying it. And we've turned off the engine and we've managed to get both sails out. Yep, but we're now enjoying the fish farm. And we've got the fish farms kind of either side of us. Have we not got these done yet? Shut up. I'm on the second last one. Out of 11. I'm doing them all by hand so you can't complain. My job for today is to have a look at the nav pod. Well, actually the um, chart plotter as it uh, switches on but it doesn't uh, work. And can't get past the OK screen so I'm just going to see if there's a connection at the back that isn't working properly. So I've taken the back off and I've taken out the connections. This one, which is obviously the main feed, this one I guess is to the GPS and by putting some WD-40 on them at least it started to show the um, position which is something we didn't have to start with. Um, we're still having trouble with the OK button, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't so I think we're going to have to take the unit out and send it off to be repaired. So we've left a little island opposite Gooverjin Lake. Um, we set off and we had a, about 12 knots of wind and it was on the beam. Then we lost the wind completely and we're doing about one knot. And now it's picked up again to about 17 knots. It's on between a beam and a broad reach. And I think we're doing about five knots now. Yeah, so we're in this bay. Don't know what it's called. Nothing's open at the moment. Hotels are a bit closed. Bin men are behind you. Bin men have just turned up, which is <laughs> nice. So, uh, that's us done for today, I think. Come on, it's your go. Just because you're winning, you can't go. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Just left Gundowan? Yep. Yep. We have. It's ten, well, just after ten. <laughs> we have actually got some wind. We've got about 11, 12 knots of wind. Good. And we've got our friends. Andrew and Helen, on our starboard side, just fighting with the, um, the main to get it out. What are you doing sat there drinking a cup of tea? Can you I'm call enjoying this? our sail. Nice and calm, nice and easy. It's nice, isn't it? It's about yeah. 12, 13 knots of wind, no, 10. 11, 12, and we're just doing a steady three and a half, four knots. I'm going there. Yeah, where's the other? Here is Gamushwa. And there is Akel. See, I remember today. That's only because you thought about it before I actually got the camera out. I am the best. Yeah. Yeah, Gumushluk was was what do we think of Gumushluk? Yeah, very expensive. Very nice nice place. place. A bit costly. Good anchorage. Well, good holding, deep. But costly. But costly. A beer. 21 lira, which we normally pay about 15, 16 for. Anyway, we're just going to take a sail out, so bear with us. I'm going to take a video of this before we lose it. We're on Goosewing at the minute, we're going um, dead downwind, and we've got wind in the sails, and yeah, we've picked up speed, so I'm happy with that. Seven knots! I know, we're doing really well. Great sail. Wind isn't too strong, 14 to 16 knots maybe. Really good. Yeah, got 16 knots on it.
we're cooking then, Andrew? Sorry? What are we cooking? A little bit of tavuk. Ooh, oh, the tavuk. Uh, she's doing nice, actually. She won't be much longer, another 10 or 15 minutes. Excellent stuff. I'll turn them over in a moat. What's going with it then, Helen? In. What's going with it? Well, what's going with it is individual salads. Right Excellent. Vulgar <laughs> uh, wheat. Cool. And a pasta salad cooked by the lovely Dee. Although we have no plates because I forgot them. Well, I didn't actually forget them. I thought I'm not bringing them. Can't <laughs> Save all the washing out. Can't be bothered. <laughs> so Take there we are. Wine. Oh, you just keep drinking the wine then. Uh, all right. Yeah. Cool. See what I can do. Where are we? Chocolate. Chocolate at me. And what's here? Um, a few restaurants. Most of them had the jetties taken out, unfortunately. There's one left, it's a curtain restaurant. Um, he's still got a jetty with I think, space for about, did it say? Four, four or five yachts. I'm going to go on there later on and get some water and some electric. It's a nice place, isn't it? It's it is a nice place, actually. It's quite sheltered where we are. It's not so sheltered here in a southerly or a southwesterly, but. Yeah, it looks good so far. Just left chocker at me. Um, in the bay, there's absolutely no wind whatsoever. It's stifling hot, and as you can see, we've got about 20 knots of wind now, 22 maybe. And yeah, so far so good. Guess the oven is just open. I'll go and close it. Is it getting any better? No. No. <laughs> 25 knots of wind. Uh, we've reefed down, we've got uh, about 70% an hour out and we've only got a tiny bit of main out and we're still doing about five knots. That's in the um, Heinkel thing it calls it, that as well. Pity they don't tell you what it is. Strange house, got off. Yeah, it's a circular, circular room. outside room. Weird, let's go have a look. So, how are we doing? Where are we? What are we up to? Well, I've just left that bay. Hang on, Chloe. That's uh, Kiss. Oh, it's Kiss. Something. Kiss Seed Buku, wasn't it? Well, I think so, that. yeah. Somebody called really nice bay, actually. Um, yeah, we were, we were there last night. We still had 25, 28 knots of wind. Anchor was dug in really well, so it's a good hole in there. Um, we've got Helen and Andrew in front of us, which I'll try and show you. And we're just plodding along nicely with them. How are we doing? Yeah, we're doing good. Just picked up some nice wind. We've only got the Genoa out. We're still we're doing five and a half knots. Where are we going? We're going to Nidos this morning, which is about 19 miles. Um, should take us about four hours, something like that. Muffs coming off the top. Leave my muff alone. <laughs> yeah, we're in Nidos again. Um, harbour, city wall used to run up there. Um, boats are over there on the other side. But this part used to be an island apparently, and they filled it in in the middle um, when the city was built. And we're going to go and do the ruins later on today, hopefully, if Andrew and Helen have got their boats sorted out. It's lovely, isn't it? 